India is a country with a deep manifested past. Her rich cultural heritage has kept everyone in a maze. All the states in India have some or the other cultural history. If you have a chance to visit Hyderabad, the capital in South India, you can't possibly miss out the 400-year-old majestic and imposing Golconda Fort situated on the western outskirts in the city which was mainly known for its diamond mines. The fort was built in the 13th century. The fort is built on a granite hill at a height of around 120 meters and is bordered by thick walls. The stone blocks used for constructing these massive walls weigh several tons. The structure is such that though closed, it allows much space for all over ventilation, thus allowing circulation of cool breeze that provides respite from the summer heat. The entrance gates of the fort are colossal and are fitted with iron spikes to thwart elephants from damaging them. The entire township of Golconda is surrounded by an outer wall, which is about 11 kilometers long. This long road used to be a busy market in the Bagon where one could get stuff like jewelry, diamonds, pearls and other gems. Considered one of India's most outstanding citadels, the Golconda Fort epitomizes the sumptuous royal culture of the time. Golconda means Shepherd's Hill. By the 17th century, Golconda was famous as a diamond market. It gave the world some of the best known diamonds, including the Kohinoor. Out of 38 diamond mines of India, 23 were located in the Golconda Sultanate, making it the diamond capital of the past. It was considered a point of pride by any ruler to be the owner of one of the Golconda diamonds. The top four pink diamonds of the world are from Golconda Fort. The meticulous details of the architecture and the fading gardens, which were once upon a time replete with sprawling lawns and playing fountains has the power to transport you back in time. The magnificent architecture of the Golconda Fort is as imposing as ever, and this is evident from the colossal gate at the entrance studded with long iron spikes, to deter invading armies from battering it down. The gate leads to the portico known as the Balahaisar Gate, magnificent as the gate itself. It is approached by a thousand steps stay away, and if you can summon up the energy to accomplish the climb, you will be rewarded with a great view of the cities. The graceful gardens of the fort may have lost their fragments, for which they were no 400 years ago, yet to walk in these former gardens should be in your schedule when exploring the past glories of Golconda Fort. <laughs>